Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a breakdown look at the brand new Transformers Studio Series figures that was revealed at MCM Comic Con. As you can see here, I've got all the official press release photos of them in one accumulative photo, and we'll give a detailed breakdown on each of these figures right now. Starting things off here, we have our first look at the brand new Deluxe Class Shatter, as seen in the brand new Transformers Bumblebee movie. Personally, I think the vehicle mode looks absolutely fantastic on this figure. The robot mode too looks really accurate and is very faithful to what we've seen from the trailers. Unfortunately, she does in fact have an inaccurate head sculpt, however, that seems to be a running trait with some of these brand new Bumblebee figures, seeing as the figures are made way in advance of the final movie, so designs are always changing. But personally, I think that she looks really, really good. And despite the inaccurate head sculpt, the details and the accuracy of the vehicle mode and the main body sure does more than make up for an inaccurate face. And we still don't actually know whether or not that is in fact a battle mask. Next up, we've got Deluxe Class Scrap Metal from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Personally, this was a character that I wasn't initially very familiar with. Some people on Instagram have told me that it is in fact the uh, Transformer that the little Doctor robot in the second movie uses to dismantle to rebuild Megatron. Not entirely sure if that's accurate. However, it is rumoured that this will actually be part of the combining Devastator figure that I'll discuss later on. Personally, it looks like an alright figure, but definitely not one that I am overly fussed about. It's fairly generic, and seeing as I didn't even know who the character was, this is definitely not a figure that I am necessarily really keen to get straight away. But obviously, I'll get it to complete the Devastator. Next up, we have Deluxe Class Cogman. This is the exact same figure that we got from the Last Night Premiere Edition line. However, this time he's been given a really nice silver finish which is definitely a massive bonus as one of my main gripes with that figure was that the entirety of the vehicle mode was unpainted. As you can see, the silver paint has really given him an extremely premium look and this will definitely be a figure that I pick up to replace my Premier Edition Cogman. Next up, we have another Voyager Class Optimus Prime. This time it's based on his appearance from the first movie. Despite the second movie, this one has been slightly altered. As you can see, the entirety of the chest has been remolded. And there's also some additional paint applications in the robot and vehicle mode. He does also come with a blaster. And due to the remold, he is actually able to become compatible with the brand new leader class Jetfire. So overall, a very welcome addition to the Studio Series line, as it is a massive upgrade from the original Zero Fire Voyager Prime. Talking of Jetfire, here we have the brand new Leader Class Jetfire. This is a completely brand new mold and really does look extremely movie accurate. As you can see from this photo here, he can actually combine with that Voyager Class Optimus to create a fairly accurate representation of how Optimus looked when he took Jetfire's parts on at the end of the second movie. Overall, I think that this figure looks fantastic and I really can't wait to pick him up in spring of 2019. Next up, we've got a highly anticipated Voyager class Bone Crusher, and this figure looks absolutely fantastic. It's probably one of the hottest reveals from this weekend's MCM Comic Con. As you can see, he is a Voyager class figure, so will be in a lot better scale than the Deluxe class figure from the first movie. He just looks a heck of a lot more accurate, and due to the additional size, I'm sure that Hasbro will be able to cram in a lot more engineering to make this figure a lot more accurate than its predecessor. Moving on, here we've got a Voyager class Rampage from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. This figure to me looks fantastic, as originally the Deluxe class Rampage that we got for the Revenge of the Fallen line was only a Deluxe class and wasn't even in the movie accurate colours. I do believe that you had to get the Takara version in order to get the red version, and nowadays they go for an exceptionally high price on eBay. This figure looks great, I think that the alt mode looks really really good, and the robot mode is extremely accurate to what we see in the movie. There's been no details of whether or not this this has a jackhammer effect like the deluxe class figure. However, I personally think that it looks really good and I'm so glad that Hasbro and Takara have chosen the Voyager class scale for this. And especially considering that this does combine to form Devastator, it was definitely a very clever design choice to go with the Voyager class scale. Turning to the final officially revealed product, here we've got a Voyager class long haul. This is obviously based on his appearance from Revenge of the Fallen and he does look a heck of a lot more movie accurate than the Revenge of the Fallen version. This version is a lot more bulkier than his predecessor and overall just looks really, really good. The only downside to it, I think, is that the vehicle mode doesn't look as accurate. However, considering that this does turn into the base of Devastator's feet, I can understand why they've skimmed out on some of the details as you need a flat, stable surface in order to stand Devastator up upon. Turning to the final reveal, here we've got our first look at Devastator from the Studio Series and doesn't this figure look absolutely fantastic? Here I've got a coloured image that was shown at MCM Comic Con, it looks really really good. 
it still has no details on whether or not that the mouth will actually light up green. However, I do imagine that it might do. This is comprised of eight individual robots that do transform from vehicle to robot and then into a limb of Devastator. Here we've got a picture of the prototype with more of the details. And obviously not all the limbs are complete, that's hence why some of them look fairly basic. The bottom two legs and the right on the arm on the screen, they are the only three completed limbs. So I'm pretty sure that the finished product will look a lot more accurate. The only downside that I've seen so far is that it does look fairly small, how the Devastator was massive in the movie. So if they were to do a full scale Devastator, it definitely would cost an extremely high price and all the figures would probably have to be in the leader class scale. Overall, it definitely does look like a marked improvement over the Supreme Class one that we got from Revenge of the Fallen and it's definitely one that I'll be picking up when all the figures come out eventually in the new year. Finally, the final figure that I want to talk about is the Dark of the Moon Leader Class Megatron. Now this was shown at the booth on Friday, however, has not been seen since, so I don't know whether it was supposed to go up or not, but personally I also think that this is a marked improvement. We never got a Dark of the Moon Leader Class Megatron, so to, to finally have that really does fill the void in some of the Movieverse collections. As you can see, the vehicle mode is extremely accurate. They seem to be using fabric cloth as opposed to a plastic piece, much like they did on the Voyager. And overall, this figure just looks a lot more bulkier. I'm pretty sure that this isn't transformed 100% accurately. As you can see, the legs do seem a little bit too clunky. I do imagine they could probably compress a lot more. But overall, nonetheless, this is definitely a marked improvement over what we got from the first time round. So there you have it, my thoughts on the reveals that were shown at MCM Comic Con. Personally, I think every single reveal is absolutely fantastic. The only one that I think is a bit lackluster is the Deluxe Class Cogman. It is simply just a repaint. However, it's still quite a good mold, so to get a repaint of an already good figure isn't as bad as it could be. The entire line is really becoming extremely strong. As you can see, there are no repaints besides Cogman here. Every single figure has something new to offer, and I'm really, really looking forward to that Supreme Class Devastator. The Bone Crusher looks fantastic, and personally, I think the Leader Class Jetfire is a massive upgrade from the original quite clunky version. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know down in the comment section below. Also, be sure to leave your thoughts on the reveals from MCM Comic Con. I'd definitely be interested in hearing some of your thoughts. And until my next review, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.